In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the three things that all light workers must know for 2019. There are three things that light workers, star seeds, indigos, must know to join the great awakening that is unfolding right before our very eyes. Folks, if you are here, there can be no doubt you've been drawn to this video for a reason. It's a great blessing to have you along. My name is Ben, welcome to Elevate. Let's just jump right into it. Thank you so much for tuning in today, folks. If it's your first time on my channel, I hope you like what you see. If you do, please consider subscribing. And to all of those who have found us and subscribed recently, a great big welcome to the family. Please feel welcome to reach out to me anytime. I've got nothing to sell you. I've got no email lists to sign you up to, but I can certainly journey with you. I can certainly support you and love you and help you through life's journey. I love getting alongside people, so do reach out if you need help. But today I wanted to talk briefly to you good folks about three very important things that light workers, star seeds, indigos, call them what you like, but people who identify with that must know. You see folks, when we look around at what's happening, is happening to us and to our world today, there really is little doubt that the world is waking up. There is a great spiritual awakening that is happening upon this earth. And particularly in the younger generation, there seems to be a generation rising up that no longer is able to accept the status quo. And that is more able, more willing to challenge their own psyche, their own internal beliefs, their own standpoints, to awaken and to rise up their spirit within. And I wanna say this from the very start of this video, folks, if you are here, that is a synchronicity that has aligned and has brought you here for a reason. You see, while this video is addressing those of us who identify as light workers, star seeds, whatever it might be. If you're here, I believe you've come here for a reason and it's to hear this message. It's because you are a light worker. You see, to some degree, to some degree, each and every one of us is a light worker. Each and every one of us is a star seed in indigo. Why is that, Ben, you might say to me? How, how can that be? Well, that's very easy because when we understand things at their core, we recognize that we are a spirit who has a soul and that lives in a body. Therefore, we are all connected to the divine. You are part of the divine source energy. Energy can never be created or destroyed. It always has been and it always will be. It is the foundation and the building blocks upon every single thing that we consider to be real. Think about the chair you're sitting on. That's not actually a solid. That's just millions of particles of energy vibrating at a high resonant frequency. And in fact, you can look at your chair under a microscope and see that what I'm saying is true. Energy is always moving in to take form. It's moving through form and out of form again. Think about a cup of water. You turn on the tap and fill up a glass with water. What happens to that water, that energy source form, when you freeze it? That form of energy shifts from liquid to solid. It turns to ice and it expands. If you put that brick of ice into a kettle and apply heat to it for long enough, you will boil it and dissipate all of that ice back through water, shifting through form, shifting into another form, steam, and dissipating, going up into the atmosphere, returning to the earth as rain in its original form. Energy can never be created or destroyed. It is always moving into form, through form, and out of form. Therefore, you are connected to the divine energy. You are connected to that form of energy. We all are. And the beautiful thing about the awakening world that we live in is that the collective consciousness, the collective spiritual consciousness that exists, lifts 
all of us. It's like that old saying, a rising tide lifts all the boats in the harbour. So we can rise up on the wings of the collective consciousness and identify as a light worker and understand that we are attached to divine energy. You are attached to divine energy. You are part of source energy. Therefore, the first thing we as star children need to do is to wake up. We need to awaken our spirit within. We need to understand that we are a spirit with a soul inside of a body. This body is our temporary home for the 80, 90, 100 years that we are on this earth. Our spirit is what lives on. Therefore, we can awaken our spirit within and understand that the body we live in is just the clothes that we can see. It's not us. So it's time to start awakening your spirit. How do you do that? You come into alignment with an understanding that says, I know I am a light worker. I know I am a child of the universe. I know I have a right to be here, right here, right now. I was born for such a time as this. Folks, I declare that for you today. Take these declarations and begin to speak them over your own lives and your spirit will rise up within and will begin to awaken and will add to the collective awakening that is happening to the consciousness all over the world. And you too can be part of this incredible awakening and raising consciousness. It's time to wake up. The second thing that we as light workers all must do this year is we must lift our vibration. So once we've acknowledged and we've accepted the divine within us, and we've accepted that we are an expression of divine energy, of source energy, we must now raise our vibration to come into alignment with that truth. You see, we only know what we know. If we don't know which way is left and right, well, it's not our fault if we get a direction wrong, but once we come into an awareness that says left is this way and right is that way, it then becomes incumbent upon us to steer left and right as directed. In the same way, I'm asking you to lift your vibration. How do we do that? We speak, act, feel and think in high vibrational energy. Love, peace, joy, thanksgiving, gratitude. Develop and invoke an attitude of gratitude. You already possess everything necessary to become great. So start getting thankful for that because you are great. It's already within you. You are attached to source energy. So it's time to wake up. It's time to raise our vibration. And the third thing that all light workers must do in 2019 is we must forget the past. This will help massively in lifting your vibration. This will help massively in an awakening, in waking up your spirit within. We must forget the past. And I don't mean let's develop a case of selective amnesia towards parts of our journey. I don't mean that at all. In fact, the fullness and the full story of our journey is what develops us into the well-rounded spiritual beings that we are. So I'm not talking about forgetting parts of our journey. I'm talking about forgetting the programming that has been put into us from the moment we were born. Forgetting the subconscious limiting belief systems that each and every one of us have. And coming into alignment with an understanding and a recognition of the power of the spirit being that dwells inside of this body. Folks, you are a spirit being. You are here for a purpose. And if you have known and if you have felt that there is something bigger than you out there for you to envelop and to achieve. If you have felt that you have a purpose and a destiny and a mission, you might not know what that looks like, but you feel there's something bigger on the inside of you. It's time to let go of limiting beliefs. It's time to become selective about the conversations we involve ourselves in. It's time to become selective about the energies that we surround ourselves in and recognize that we are the gatekeepers to the energy that flows into our lives 
and that flows out from our lives. Guard your heart with all diligence, for from it spring the issues of life. Folks, that's in the Bible, and how true is that? So let's raise our vibration, let's awaken our spirit, and let's forget all of the limiting subconscious beliefs that have been programmed into us from day one. You can do anything. You can achieve anything. You can be anyone you set out to be as long as it is true to yourself and your divine purpose. The world is your oyster, folks. Go out there and get amongst it. I believe in you and I declare that 2019 will be the greatest year of your life. I declare for you right now that you will see miracles, signs, wonders, abundance, health, prosperity. And I declare that you will be a key player in the global awakening that we're beginning to experience now. Folks, reach out to me anytime if you need help, if you need love, if you need support. But be aware of what is happening around you. Allow your spirit to arise and to awaken within. Come into alignment with high vibrational energy and forget all of those limiting subconscious beliefs that have held you back for so long. Go out and get to it, folks. I believe in you, I love you, and I'm thankful for you. Please tune in again tomorrow. Can't wait to spend some more time with you then. Peace.